Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Today we'll be talking about how to make an elevator in Halo 5's Forge. So with Forge finally out we now have a whole bunch of different scripting options and a whole bunch of different stuff. And I'm going to show you how to make an elevator. So as you can see right here I have my down arrow. The elevator is upstairs and I can interact with it to pull it down. Now once I'm on the elevator I can go over to the up arrow switch. Go up. And there we are on the second floor. So now we've gotten to the second floor and used that. Now, if I wanted to make this, what you'll first want to do is you'll want to look at this first block here. The elevator block itself is what's going to be doing the majority of the scripting. So if I go into the object properties right here, what I can see is that if I go to the scripting, there are two scripts currently happening. Now, the first thing you want to do is make the first condition on message receive. So when this receives a message, and that's going to be channel alpha. The move offset, so the moving, what that's going to be is actually how much that object moves in which direction. You can say forward, horizontal, or vertical. Obviously, this is an elevator, so we're going to say vertical, and how much time that takes. So you can set the time to whatever you want, how fast or slow, but the vertical is what, what's going to define this. So if you set the vertical to the space that you want it to go up, you can change that around to your liking. And with this one, we have it going up 20. Now for script 2, we want to do the exact same thing. When a message re is received, we want to make it go instead down. So we want to set it to negative 20 and make this on another channel. So these can be any two channels but as long as they are separate. And for this one, since this is the down script, we want to make it negative 20. So if you go to the, if you go to zero and obviously just keep going lower, then you'll be able to get negative, which makes a block go lower. So making it move down. That's what really does the scripting here. We can define the time and everything, but the block itself is what does the scripting. Now the actual terminals are what activates that. So what we said was on message received. And these are what's going to be sending out those messages. So if I look at this switch right here, it is the object properties. If I unlock it, I can see that there is a script that says on interaction message send alpha. So on interaction basically means that when you walk up to the terminal and press the activation button, it'll send out a message and that message will be to channel alpha. Now we have the up script be on channel alpha. So when this sends out a script, when this sends out your interaction, it'll make the elevator go up. Now when I go to the other one over here, you'll see that it's the exact same thing except for Bravo. This makes it go down and as you can see, this block does most of the scripting. Now when you're actually making this, something that you want to keep in mind is when you place these terminals over here, there is currently a glitch in Forge that sometimes it'll return to the original location it was spawned. So once you pick it up and you put in that script, you want to put it down the right location and then you want to make sure to lock it. If you don't lock it, it could disappear and go in a random direction and that will not be good. So basically that's all you need to do. I've set up here a second floor level and I can go up. But this has the potential to go even further than this. If I wanted to create multiple floors, I could create a button that says one above it or two. And as I go up, I can choose to go up one more level. And I can make this a multi-floor elevator if I wanted to. It's completely expandable and there's so many different options that come with this. If you wanted to create the Willy Wonka sideways going elevator, you could do that just by changing those different movement options that I showed you earlier. If you like this, you can also download it off my file share. My gamer tag is Reckless Riley, which will be in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I will be making a lot more of Halo 5 content with Halo 5's Forge finally out. Anyway, my name is Reckless Riley. Have a great day.